You've had to sing for your supper, as it were, by appearing at this do here at the Hove County Ground. What have you had to do today? Yeah, I just um, a little bit of a question and answer session um, with Tony Cotty. Um, and yeah, just a bit of mingling. I had to pick the best dressed man, which was a complete honour. Um, but yeah, just had a, a brilliant time. Did they come up with some tricky questions? <laughs> no, no tricky questions. Nothing I've not had before, but um, more about my, my career and, and how I, I got into cricket and, and stuff like that. So um, yeah, just, just a bit more about myself. Now, a few years ago, um, your namesake, Claire Taylor, was the first lady cricketer to be named as one of Wisdom's five cricketers of the year. This very year, uh, Charlotte Edwards, your uh, national team captain, has been chosen as well. It's a great thing for her and for English women's cricket, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I think looking back when um, Claire Taylor did it, it, was after a good run of success and, you know, she fully deserved it. She'd had some of the best um, games of cricket in, in a few years of games cricket uh, that I'd ever seen anyone play and, and look, Charlotte has just been magnificent for the games and she, she's just um, a stronghold in women's cricket and everyone knows her name and, and like yeah a bit like Claire she had some fantastic performances leading that way um, it would be brilliant for like to be in there someday that would be really nice but um, yeah just just brilliant for women's cricket and it's great that wisdom which is the bible of cricket uh, recognizes women's cricket on a par with the men's game yeah completely and, and we've had um, full support from from the wisdom and, and um, you know they, they keep doing stuff like that then you know it puts women's cricket out there and, and I guess that's what we want to do raise that profile of women's cricket and trying to get people to, to come and watch our games and come and support us on another page in wisdom there is a photograph of a girl called Sarah Taylor and that's on this ground when Jodie Fields, the Australian captain, was batting. She's a right-hander. She decided to do this little switch hit, reverse sweep. And you stuck out your hand as the wicketkeeper. And uh, miraculously, or at least as a testament to all the skill that you have, the ball stuck. It was a wonderful catch. Um, yes, um, literally that. I think it was. I stuck my hand out and it, and it stuck. Um, I don't really remember too much about it. I just remember thinking it was going to hit her pads, and um, and I thought, well, if she's going to reverse pad it, then I might as well go with it, and went with it, and uh, yeah, the rest is history, I guess. But um, the best catch of my career. Absolutely wonderful, and it's great that wisdom has got the whole picture there. Really yeah, nice, I didn't, I didn't actually know it was in there, so thank you for telling me. Now, um, you've just come back from the World 2020. I suppose that's for losing the final to Australia. Perhaps a little disappointing after winning the Ashes. Um, yeah, it was. I think um, you know we'd had such a different squad going into Bangladesh than we did in Australia, and I think to get to the final we did absolutely brilliantly. And, and unfortunately, we, we probably didn't have um, that tougher games leading leading into that final. And um, it, it was just hard. You know, we, it's the final, isn't it? You want to put on the best performance you can, but actually our worst performance came right at the end. Um, so I just think as a, as a team we did absolutely brilliantly with the squad we had to get to the final. And, um, there was a lot of new faces in there and a lot of new faces stood up and, and delivered some brilliant performances. Anya was absolutely phenomenal throughout the entire thing. And, um, yeah, it was just disappointing, but actually if you, if you look at the tournament as a whole, it was, it was quite successful. One of your Sussex colleagues with England, Aaron Brindle, has just retired. She had a wonderful career, didn't she? Absolutely brilliant career, I think. Um, to have a five-year break, have a child, come back and actually just walk straight into the side again just shows testament to to what a cricketer she was. She was brilliant for Sussex as well and she still might feature for us um, this summer which is an absolute godsend for us. Um, so yeah, just a, a phenomenal cricketer and, and you know, obviously one of the best fielders. The um, uh, Ashes series and then the World 2020, does that mean that this year is going to be a quiet one? Um, this year will be a quiet one. We've got um, We've got um, India coming over um, and South Africa, um, so we've got a bit of a, a series with them and then we shoot off to New Zealand in the winter and that might be by the end of this year or the beginning of, of next year. So yeah, very quiet year and I think with the last 18 sort of eighteen months that we've had uh, as an England squad, it's actually quite nice to get, to get the rest by, to be fair. Now, you're saying you want to be the third woman cricketer to be featured in Wisdom as one of the five cricketers of the year, but what other ambitions do you have to um, look, I think in terms of my own performances, I think consistency needs to be there in terms of um, those big ones taking the responsibility to, to do that. And, um, and that I wouldn't particularly like to lose to, to Australia in the final again in another uh, World T20. So um, there is that, but we've got to look forward to um, you know a couple of series against um, New Zealand out in, um, in New Zealand, India here, South Africa here. And, um, and then looking on to, to the Women's World Cup in 2017, which is in England, and that would be phenomenal too. If Charlotte ever does retire, did you see yourself as a future captain? <laughs> Question is today. Um, no, look, I mean, I'm captain in Sussex this year, but it's going to be 
I did it at the back end of last year and absolutely loved it. So um, if I can get through this season, maybe ask me again in a year. Or...